right and here we are selection radio show 259 live and direct here at beats one los angeles this guy texted me the other night and uh, surprised me he just came from chicago just came from a europe tour one of selection's very own monty booker what's good brother what's good y'all how y'all feeling I'm good, man. Well, so how you feeling? I'm, I'm great, bro. It's really nice up? to have you on. I remember last time you were out here, the timing didn't work out, but uh, I'm so happy to to have you here because yeah. you've been putting in work, and uh, it's it's about that time to really, uh, if the world doesn't know who you are, they're about to find out, you know what I mean? But I feel like you have a lot to say. Uh, what brings you here to Los Angeles, man? So, man, me and my homie Smino, we just working, well, finishing up the album that he's working on. It's called Black Swan. It's coming out. This summer. This summer? <laughs> yes, sir. Let's talk about Smino and who, who exactly is he? So Smino, um, from St. Louis, uh, we met at the, like, the studio in Chicago. And that's like my brother, man. We just we just make music yeah, and just have fun and just kick it. Yeah. And yep. you just turned 21, yeah? Yeah. Finally well, ha- able to ha- get drinks. Ha- happy belated. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> we finally get you in, in the club now. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how, how, was, uh, how was Europe, man? Man, Europe was great. It was just a crazy experience just to... Um, to see people like reacting over there just the music that we like that I make and just even to know me it was just a surprise so it's just a blessing just to even be over there so that was your first time traveling first there? time across the seas yeah isn't it amazing that something that started from the internet or from SoundCloud could progress and people identify with your music and I remember the first time I heard you was from SoundCloud you right. know uh somebody reposted your track yeah. and uh, I think it was the one with uh, Raven Lene Word. and it was uh, the track called May yeah. M-A-Y and uh, to hear uh, a young she's only what 16? 17 now 17 now <laughs> to hear a young vocalist um, be able to flow and ride to a beat like that I, I was very impressed and then you know it had its pockets and its space and then all of a sudden your beat just switches up and it just goes crazy you know what I mean you want to you want to talk about that track that's right man it was in May <laughs> it was like a random summer day man we were just in the uh, studio chilling mm-hmm. and then um I started making the beat and Raven just started making the song but then we was done with the song like we can like make a crazy ass outro <laughs> and that's where the outro came from we just just flipped it up a little bit yeah now I feel uh, traditionally, you're more of a producer. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're more you're that guy in the studio, um, not so much going on tour and trying to be a DJ. I know that that's a whole new world to you. Yeah. Um, where does that influence come from, or how, how long you been making music? Uh, I've been making music for like three or four years right now. So just studying like Timbaland and the Neptunes. Like I kind of had that like uh, like that Timbaland's. Like inspiration, inspiration, that swing of those drums and the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, and I feel you, Smino, and Raven, you guys have that. Uh, what what was the name of Timba, Timbaland and like Missy and, and Aaliyah, that whole that whole crew? I, I'm not sure if they had a name for it, but that's what it reminds me Word. of. It's not, you know, but you guys are like the new generation. Man, you know appreciate what I mean? it. That's a, that's In fact, a do, you, do you actually sample music? Uh, sometimes, 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 not often though. Okay. Not often. What do you use to produce? Uh, FL Studio. FL Studio. Yes, sir. Word. That's crazy, man. And you have your own sound. It's like a lot of, I mean, this is a song right here, new chapter. A lot of uh, watery, aqua <laughs> vibes, um, <laughs> yeah. spacey, deep thought, melodic. Where Where do you get that inspo? Like, where do you get that inspiration? Because that. That's a little bit of Timbaland, but it's, it's like some new wave. Who, who's like another artist that inspired, inspired that? Um, yeah. Definitely Flying Lotus. Flying just Lotus. hearing all the organic sounds that he would put in a, a track. It was just like, wow. And it's like, it's no limit to music. You can just put a bag of chips inside of a, a record and make <laughs> a, a record. Bag of chi- hey, you hungry, bro, or what? <laughs> a trying to bit, eat man. right now? I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know me. Yeah, but this song, uh, New Chapter, if I'm not mistaken, was this the first song that you put out when you joined Selection? One of the songs? One song? of the songs, yep. Yep. This, will, yeah, this is definitely remember, one of the songs, yeah. yeah. And wh- when was the first time you discovered Selection? Oh, uh, man. Probably like two years ago. I was just randomly on YouTube, and then like a, <laughs> a Carmack and Esther song came up. And I was like, whoa, what's the, what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> and I'm just like, man. And just uh, after that, I was just like loving the movement and just, you know, just paying attention and just studying just the artists from Selection and just like, Embracing the culture for real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember talking to Smino too. It was like you guys happen to both be on Sango. And I think yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. Uh, one of the Data Senior series projects, and 
you guys were like, yo, you know about selection? And it was just kind of, I've been, you know, I've been realizing as I've been traveling the world more and more, uh, people have been telling me that they, they're new friends that they kick it with and that they're, that they talk to every day, their new circle was connected through selection. Yeah. It's kind of like a personality test. It's like, oh, you listen to selection. I know what kind of vibe you're for on real, and real. I know what type of person that you're open minded. And then, uh, this crew I met in Perth, Australia, they happened to be, uh, a duo, a new production team, and they met through Selection, and now they're like touring and playing shows, and they're yeah, like, yeah. "Yo, thank you for bringing us together, and now we're making music." So to me, that's very powerful, you that's know. Crazy. And yeah, little crazy. do we know by what we're doing here on our laptops or in the bedroom, you know, that it's affecting a lot more people worldwide. And I think that's like the amazing part about this story, Most definitely. you know. <laughs> and and you being from the South Side of Chicago, how is that? also influence your music? Man, that's because I love, I mean, we kind of birthed a lot of like hard drill music. So I kind of keep that, uh, say that inspiration, you know, so I still like the trap music, you know, like just trap hard, hitting bass, 808, you know what I'm saying? So that definitely still inspires the music. I For sure. Where, did you grow up like around the streets or like the hood or, or was it kind of, were you kind of shut off and always into making music? So I was, yeah, I was born in, you know, born and raised in the hood, but my mom always kept me in, indoors, you know, kept yeah. me focused on school, music, you know, so I was always into like listening to records and stuff like that. So Word. she kept me off the streets. I mean, Chicago right now has one of the best music scenes in, in the States. You know, um, when you think Chicago, who do you think about? You think about Kanye, you think about Chance, you think Most about definitely. BJ, the Chicago kid, uh, Vic Mensa, Save Money, that whole squad. Word. But then you have your crew now that's on the rise. Yeah, man. You know, Pitchfork <laughs> talked about it. Yourself, Zero Fatigue. Zero Fatigue, yeah. <laughs> which is you, um, Samino, and Raven, man. How, yeah, how yeah. does that feel to to get recognized in such a talented city? Can't, can't forget about Common as well. Right, right. You know, coming up and being a big essential part to the city. How does that feel, man? Man, it's just... It's like it's a humbling thing. It's just a humbling experience just to have a city message with you. Like just to be, you know. So Chicago kind of like they don't like other. They don't like I don't know. They like one type of sound. You know what I'm That's saying? Real. But for them to be like opening up to like Chance the Rapper or like things we're doing or like BJ the Chicago Kid is actually pretty crazy. Yes, that's wild, man. Yeah. And, and and it's just great to see. And for selection, it's important to have someone like yourself you know, in that, that region of the world because it's so important right now and you have a good lock on what's going on. So, yeah, man, I, I'm I'm really hyped. Are you working on an album right now? Yeah, I'm working on, um, well, outside of Smino's album, I'm working on an EP myself, so that should be coming this year as well. With all this hype and the internet, how do you, you coming up, how do you manage and maintain staying humble and not getting caught up in the internet hype? Because I feel a lot of these young artists, man, when 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 the internet and, and social media hits them and gives them a little bit of a, a pat on the back and, and just kind of, you know, gives them like that congratulation. Sometimes people don't know how to deal with that or get lost in their head right. with the success. And then they get kind of in a, a, a writer's block or they just kind of lose it. How do you, how do you maintain the balance? Man, honestly, I just always, anytime something happened to like any accomplishment, I just always like, Think about what's next, you know what I'm saying? I never want to get content with what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I never want to get too comfortable. I just always look for the next move or the next, um, just, you know? And same with music. I'm always trying to push myself and challenge myself to even do better the next time. Yeah. So, I don't know. People, I, I guess, yeah, people do get too comfortable with, like, the fame and all that, but I just try to stay away from the social networks. Yeah. Just stay it's, focused yo, on the that's, music. that's real. Yeah. And I respect it, and that's why... You pass the personality trait, and that's why you're on selection because right, you have that that uh, that discipline, and you have the you know you you just get it, and I think yeah. that's so important at this time in life. And you lead by example. I think I cannot wait for uh, you know outside of even you and your crew for for the world to uh, get onto your sound. You know what I mean? Because a lot of artists get caught up in uh, they get so inspired by a SoundCloud artist or producer. And then they end up sounding like them. Right. And you just, like, stay in your own lane. Yeah, it's the most important part, man. Yeah, just man. Just trying to stay, you know, away from everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Keep, now, we're about to get into a, a set pretty soon from you, right? What what can we expect, man? Man, I'm going to start off with some unreleased Raven, Lene, and Smino. This Ooh. is a track called Carpool. 
<laughs> you guys have your own sound, man. It's just like that bouncy wave. And, and Smino, he's from uh, uh, St. Louis, yeah? Yep. That's crazy. And he moved out to Chicago as yep. well. Moved to Chicago. Yeah, man. You guys are really up to something special. Shout out to Smino if Shout he's listening. Yep. <laughs> um, be, before we get into your set as well, I, you know, there's a side of you. You're a funny guy. <laughs> it's funny because you've been, you've been hella shy right now, but you, you always it's got a joke. <laughs> it's a Zane Lowe mic, man. See what it does to people. Um, I, I heard they call you uh, uh, the scientist, right? Well, what, what do they call you? Cleveland Junior. Huh? They call you Cleveland Junior. Yeah, Cleveland. Why, why do they call you Cleveland Junior? I don't know. Probably because I look like them. <laughs> <laughs> they call you like something like Fat Boy Scientist or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. I forgot about that. The fat. <laughs> I can't say the other word, but it's yeah. Fat Boy Scientist. Fat Boy Scientist, That's right? Because I always got. Uh, you know, Sango hit me right now. He he asked me, "What's your favorite food?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it. Um, Fried chicken, man. Fried chicken? Do you, do you cook? No, nah, I can't cook. You can't cook? Nah, it's I'm all terrible. good. I'm on the same page. Cereal. Um, it's all good. And, yo, is it is it true? Is it true? Because I saw on social media the other day. Is it true that Gold Link can't drive? Oh, bro, it's terrible. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Gold Link fans, hold on. I'm, before I get into this story, <laughs> let me rewind back. It was one day. You know, Gold Link thought he could drive. He hopped in the rental. <laughs> My man's just... The rest is history, man. I just want y'all to just like just, just imagine. Yeah, just take that in. Just imagine how he how terrible he is. But <laughs> shout out to Goldie, man. We was was him, he man. able to reverse? Was it did he nah. was he like nah? He Can almost hit a car, <laughs> hit his manager, <laughs> hit his DJ. <laughs> Almost killed me and Smino, man. Oh man! All in one day. Yo, shout out Goling. That's shout just funny, Goling. man. Cause, <laughs> oh man, that that that's the boy right there. That's the <laughs> homie. Shout out. Um, but yeah, let's quit talking. Let's get right into this music. Um, get really excited to hear these exclusives. And once again, man, thank you for coming by. First of many, you know, sessions that we're about to have, man. So keep killing it. Stay humble. Thank you. And you know. I got your back if you need anything, man. So My shout man. out, shout out to the crew here as shout well. Out selection, man. Yeah, this shout is out a family, Dom, man. Jack. Yeah, Wes, yes. Kyle, Hell. Jack, the Beats One crew. Thank you guys. Thank you. Let's get into the music, and do what you love. All right. <laughs> 